went to the Peter Pan donut shop and we got chocolate frosted, I got a vanilla frosted. I think this is red velvet, like sugar, and then this is like a glazed or something, but they look delicious and fresh. And then I got a buttered bagel too. This would look really good. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke. It is a Sunday here in New York and I'm about to do some reading. I need to take a break from this Magnolia Parks. It's just like not doing it for me. So I've been on my Kindle reading the new Frida McFadden, I'm like 50% through. I feel like these are always pretty quick reads for me. So I kind of want to try to finish it today if possible. I have a few hours now and then a few hours like later tonight. So let's read, shall we? Comment below what you guys are reading right now if it's anything good because I, I I was on a good flow there for a sec, but I'm a little dry right now. Ordered some groceries for the week. Um, I don't know if I need to give you guys like a full haul, but some snacks, snacks, a few frozen items, and then mostly like things for breakfast, a few things for dinner. We're gonna make like some veggie pastas this week. What else? We're gonna do like wings again. So we got celery, these little frozen ginger cubes. They sell half loaves of bread, which is really nice. They do that at Wegmans too. So half loaf of sourdough, so I can have this. You know, you could put it in the freezer, but it's always better fresh, I feel like. I like the little individual cups of the um, cottage cheese. I feel like when I have the whole container, it like goes bad, so little individual cups. It's been a minute since I had this cheese. I'm excited about this with like crackers. For now, I'm having a little snack. Snacking on Chomps. Have a lovely Sunday. I wanna thank Chomps for sponsoring today's vlog, which is very exciting to me personally, if you guys know me. I've been eating these for years, years and years and years. Like OG vlog viewers will know. Chomps are perfect. You get a nice protein packed snack on the go. I personally love them as a midday pick me up. Like it's the middle of the day right now and it's like, oh, snack time. Like I'm gonna have a Chomps. Original beef stick. I feel like this is like the classic. You can't go wrong with it. I also like the jalapeno beef ones, but I really like the turkey ones. Just like original turkey, I think is the flavor name. These are original beef, red packaging. I remember it by the color. When I'm traveling, if it's like a road trip or honestly like going on a plane, I like to just throw a couple of these in my bag. If I'm heading out for the day, I feel like it's just something good to have on you. Cause like when you know, you're not you, when you're starving, right? I need to have like something that I just can conveniently count on and these satisfy that like savory craving for me. I, I typically crave savory and these like, it's like the perfect savory snack. Chomps are also made with real ingredients. The ingredients are like super simple, super clean. So check that out. I feel like I keep harping on how much protein they have and that's like important for me because if I don't eat a snack of protein, I'm gonna be hungry again in 20 minutes but these have 10 to 12 grams of protein per chomp. So chomps have 10 to 12 grams of protein per stick. So that sounds good to me. And chomps also have no sugar. So that's exciting. I know that some of you guys have tried chomps before. I want you to comment below what your favorite flavor is if you have tried them. I also like the minis. They have like mini size ones too if you really want something just like super small, but I, this is like the go-to. To learn more about chomps or to find one of nearly 20,000 stores near you that carry chomps, go to chomps.com slash brookmichio. I will have that link down below. I'm so excited guys. This is like a dream partnership. If you know, you know, really. All right, if you watched the last vlog, you saw that I'm renting a Hyundai and thank gosh, because we're moving a bunch of furniture, getting rid of some of Ben's furniture and then like moving some into our place, including this desk, which I'm actually really excited because it's like a standing desk. Anyways, downpouring, just downpouring. He's moving stuff with his friend right now, like to his friend's building. So they were like, hey, go, you watch the car. I was like, all right, no worries. Um, but of course it's conveniently downpouring. But luckily I have this nice big car that I've been renting for the weekend and uh, it's great, I have to say. I showed in the last video, love it. I think this is one of my favorite parts. Not sponsored. <laughs> I love the fact that you can see like when you click the parking button or when it just like senses that you're parking, it shows you like all of the camera angle views, which I just feel like is so helpful. The wheel, just everything, it's like so luxe. I like that the gear shift is up here. Anyways, we just ordered We've just been having a day of eating. My gosh, getting back on track tomorrow. That's why we got all those healthy groceries. Um, we ordered, well, I ordered us Finney pizza. I'm gonna pick that up on our way back. I've actually never tried it. It's not pizza by the slice. It's like you have to order the pie, so. Is it supposed to rain tomorrow too? I love a rainy day here and there, like a one-off, two-off, whatever. When it starts to rain too much, that's when I feel like I get down in the dumps and especially with the end of summer. No, no, no. So hopefully it turns around. Oh, that looks even better. Penny pizza. Okay. 
Okay, let's go to Soul Cycle. It's been a minute. Happy Monday. I need to start this week off on a good note, so I'm like, this will uh, this will do it, I think. All Lululemon fit. Little crop tank, also Lululemon. So the second bedroom, we have a rug and we have a desk. This is moved from Ben's place. He did not request a lot of things in the new place. He was like, look, you can do legit whatever you want. Like, I trust you. But he had this desk in his old place and it's like a standing sitting desk and he really likes it. He's starting at a desk. So I was like, yes, of course. I actually really do like the desk. The chair, you know, it's, it's an office chair, but it's really comfortable. It's like, you know, I feel like you need a comfy office chair. There's actually a lot more like space here to work with than what I thought too. We need to, it like has plugs and stuff. So we need to like set all that up and set up the wires and stuff so that they're like less offensive looking. I don't know where to put the suitcases. That's like driving me a little nuts right now. I'm gonna have to find a spot for those. I'm gonna have to like ask my dad if he could help me build something. Cause I'm like, if we're saying maybe in the laundry room, like at the top, but I don't think they're gonna all fit there. So. I don't know about that. But anyways, yeah, desk will go here. So maybe the big piece of wall art goes here. I want to get um, a second monitor as well that we could like both plug into for editing and then also just like as a second screen. So nice big desk setup here. This is like, you know, still progress. I am working with West Elm for a lot of the furniture in my apartment. So a lot of it that's coming early September is West Elm. Actually, all of it. The rugs and like the chandelier ship separately but I need to find an electrician to help me put in the chandelier. I do love this rug though. I think it's a really nice pattern, good size for the room, adds a little color. And then on this side of the room, there will be a pullout couch. These two pieces are gonna move. That's like the chandelier, it's just in boxes. And this lamp is new for this room. I don't know if I showed that. Move my Dyson pan. That's cool. Um, it's a cool lamp. And I put one of the like hue bulbs in it. One of these ones just had like a pack of a few of them. And so I connected it to my app and it could like, you know, change any color, which is cool. Cool lamp. Still have to decide if I'm using those art pieces from the old apartment. And then these will hang up in the office too. They're like awards. Yeah, I'm cool. Here will be a big pullout couch with like these two side tables. Lamp will be over here too. So it will be like a home office type vibe. Um, I could also use it to film in here, you know, cute. But right now it is still like a mess. We're, Cause we're waiting for a dresser, like a bigger dresser too. So a lot of our clothes like don't all fit right now. But when the new dresser comes, they will all fit. So that is why in the spirit of being like very transparent here, I decided to kind of like I didn't go really furniture shopping or anything before I moved into this place. I decided to wait until I was in it and like I kind of captured a bunch of content of it empty and I was like kind of deciding what direction I wanted to go in and I decided to kind of like pitch out to like furniture companies and stuff to see, you know, collab opportunities. Furnishing an apartment is ridiculously, ridiculously expensive and I have, I'm so grateful but I have more rooms to furnish this time around. So I wanted to reach out to some of my favorite companies like a West Elm to see like if they would want to collab and it worked out. So that is why I've been a bit more patient with furnishing this space. I feel like I haven't necessarily been like, it has to get done tomorrow. I actually worked with the, I, like on the West Elm website, you can do like schedule free in-home appointments. So I have worked with some designers from the Dumbo location because it's like the closest location to me. They came here, they helped me measure and they like sent me ideas basically. So I used like their interior design services and then I had some pieces that I just like independently picked out from the website that I really liked. But they helped me like figure out, you know, rugs, like what goes together. So it's exciting. We've been kind of doing that. And then I feel like all of the extra things that like I could do because it is, you know, like a condo. If I wanted to paint the wall or like if I wanted to put up wallpaper or anything like that, I can do. I just kind of wanted to get like the baseline like burnishing in first and then yeah, all the like specialty things from there. Hence why I haven't like hung my frame TV because I've been waiting for the dresser to come to, you know, see it in space. But every day we make strides. <laughs> I'm excited for this to be like a very functioning office because I think it will be nice right now. It's kind of, it's been like storage room. Danielle slept in here. I like put the air mattress in here when she stayed here and it worked out just fine. People were like commenting on her TikTok. Like all I can see is that the bed has no headboard. I was like, it's an air mattress on the floor, but that's fine. Obviously that's, I, I mean, I guess I won't even really have to use an air mattress then once the pullout couch is here. Cause it has like a queen like mattress built into it basically, but it like looks just like a normal couch. Yeah, like it'll be convenient. Like if people just want to stay, cause there is a bathroom 
like an ensuite bathroom in here, so I feel like it's like made for a second bedroom, really. But it's all very exciting. I'm happy that the rug's in here to kind of visualize. I got other rugs too. I got a rug for the living room, rug for the bedroom. So much furniture is coming, like actually so much that I'm so excited about. I feel like I haven't been entertaining in the way that I like really, really wanted to. It's not fully done, but you know, we're on the right track. And I'm just trying to be patient and you know, like I said, I'm gonna be in this place for the indefinite future. So I was like, let me do this thing right. And like, it's gonna be a process. Something that I wanna be like really proud of and show off. So I'm so excited to be like a, working with Weston on like how freaking cool is that. I also worked with Castlery to get my bed and the table. So I just like, I'm so grateful to work with such amazing like furniture companies that like, I just genuinely love their stuff so much. So really great. So if you guys didn't watch or listen to the podcast this week, you wouldn't know that I am an artist. Um, I became uh, obsessed. Maybe it was just like fixated on that night, but hopefully it's something that I'm interested in with painting specifically acrylic painting. It was like a fun, literally on this bachelorette. So I'm wearing this sweatshirt, just so happens. I went on my friend Fran's bachelorette and there was like an activity that it was like, we're gonna paint the groom, like paint a picture of the groom. And I just was like, this is so soothing. This is so fun. Like, I just loved it. I feel like I haven't done any sort of like painting or anything artistic like that since I was like in art class in middle school. So I guess I just really like to express myself. I have really bad penmanship, honestly, and I'm like not very, I was never very like artsy or anything, but you know me, I, I like to claim a hobby for two weeks and then whatever. So maybe this will be a two week hobby. Maybe it'll be a two day hobby. I don't know. That's why I purposely didn't spend a lot of money here. But I did get this acrylic paint set on Amazon. I think it was like $30 all in and it should be everything I need. So art haul, if I like it. I will, you know, do the proper thing. There's like a Blick nearby that I was like considering going to, but I was like, how much, like, I don't want to spend so much on this hobby and then like do it twice, you know? This could also be a fun, like stay in date night activity. Um, you know, it's like, oh, we're gonna like paint something together. I don't know, I feel like it could be cute. So it comes with an easel, like thing to mix up your colors. What is this called? You know, like when you're an artist and you, I don't know. 10 brushes. I noticed that when I did it, I really liked using the really thin one because I feel like I had a bit more control with it. And if I made a mistake, it wasn't like totally detrimental. These, I guess, are the colors. It's just like 24 acrylic paint colors. And then these are the canvases. So it really is just like a very basic starter kit. And I did. Th I, this is all that I wanted. This was, I guess, the size of the canvas that I did the last time, which was a bit small. I'd like to go a little bit bigger than that. I thought that maybe it came with like some other sample pages too, but I guess they're all just canvas. Cause I feel like maybe I should practice and like, you know how people do like a sketchbook or something? Wow, this is so art class coded of me. <laughs> so it came with a bunch of different sizes. I don't know, I felt like for the price, this was basically everything that I needed all in one. I'm happy with that. Now I have to figure out where I'm going to actually paint though, because I'm gonna wanna put down some plastic or something. I wanna do it now, but it's like seven o'clock at night. Look at this view, gorgeous. Wow, stunning, amazing. Want to do this right now, but I just feel like that's not in the cards for me tonight because I feel like I wanna kinda not start and finish it in the same night, but you know, like be working on it. I feel like I'm gonna work on it for like an hour and then wanna go to bed. I've been on kind of, <laughs> I've been trying to switch my sleep schedule a little bit, but honestly just, adapting to living with Ben and he's waking up early. So I've been waking up earlier and going to sleep earlier, which I do like. I'm like sleeping most nights. The washing machine's done. I've been like sleeping most nights by 11, most even more so than 11, like 10.30. So that means that I'm like in bed, like in the nine o'clock hour. <laughs> Cause it takes me like 30 minutes to fall asleep. I don't know, I feel like that's, that's early for me, waking up in the seven o'clock hour. I don't know, maybe I'm just getting more, I guess I have been getting a little bit more sleep the past few nights. I will say it feels nice, but then I feel like if I have something in the evening, it completely throws off my next day, which like, I don't wanna be like that. But at the same time, I guess it is kind of good to be going to bed a bit earlier. Well, I guess I'm gonna put this all back in the kit for now and figure it out. If any of you guys are artists, um, please let me know what you do for painting and stuff. I, you know, it'd be great if I had like a designated craft corner or art corner, but I just don't think that that's really in the cards. Oh, this is cool. So it's like primary color mixing fairy down there. I feel like this is gonna be more weekend activity, but maybe I'll get some time later this week to do it. 
I can share my journey. Honestly, just something that's like not on technology to keep myself busy. I'll take it. I also never really liked like coloring books, but maybe I would give those another shot. I know people really like those. And I feel like I liked the acrylic paint. It seemed like it was a good starter. So I've been using a lot of like acne face wash because my skin's been in in a way a lot of them have like benzoyl peroxide which is a bleaching ingredient so check this out because the shower is like open yeah and <laughs> she's bleached i don't know if that's salvageable so we upgraded not really but got this bath mat from amazon it was like 20 something dollars i kind of fluff it up it's green so i feel like it goes with the colors in here and i figured that I guess if it lands on the outside, it will bleach, but if it lands on the inside, it won't. I just figured it would be a little bit more demure. <sighs> I need to stop saying that. But the green is not the same green as the bathroom, but it'll do. Cute, right? For $20 something, dollars, I linked it on my Amazon shop, amazon.com slash shop slash Brooke Michio. There were actually so many cute bath mats on Amazon, I almost like couldn't decide what to get. But I was like, hey, let me just go with more of a neutral, so I will probably not hate it as much over time. I just gave myself a little blowout. How did I do? It's okay, I'll have to touch it up before I go. Because today I'm doing my very first in-studio Amazon Live, which this is very full circle for me because if you know my mom, obviously, she has been doing like TV shopping since I was literally a fetus. <laughs> like. Some of my earliest memories are either watching her on TV or going with her to the studio, going to HSN, going to QVC with her, and just, I like grew up with that, and this is kind of like the modern version of that. Amazon has like a live studio where you go and host like an hour or half hour of like a shopping like show, basically. This is what, if I were like, a, you know, 10 years old or something, and I, like what I pictured for myself, like this is what I would have wanted. Actually, I have an old video. Let's see if I can pull it up. I thought that I had videos, but I just have pictures, but I guess I'll just show you some old pictures from the archives. This is from 2011 when my mom and I went to QVC Germany. She was doing an airing there. So I went with her, which just like so freaking cool that I was able to go. Um, and I was her little assistant. Oh my God. This is just other photos of her. Look, it's such a sleigh. 2011, holy shit. That was her era. This is when I was a senior in high school and I went with her. This is from 2010. Oh my God. I went on another trip to part with her. My mom's straight hair. Such a sleigh. I am gonna change when I arrive there. I was gonna wear like some of the fits because basically I got to pick out a bunch of like fun things that will be featured. Also, I feel like I kind of slayed my makeup. I did a little wing, so I was like, you know, we're going on camera. This is basically just to go over there. I'm gonna change once I'm there. So, and it's cold outside today. Not actually, but it's like 65, which we're getting into fall, I guess, early. Cezanne top, Abercrombie loose jeans, and then um, these are just little, they're really comfy. They're from La Rude. Just a comfy fit because I'm gonna change basically right when I get there, so. I feel like it's like put together enough that, you know, because I, I think I have to walk through like an office building together. I was gonna wear like a little cropped thing and I was like, you know, that's not very demure, not very mindful, this is. We're gonna head over to the studio now. I'm excited to check it out. Apparently it's really nice. Bringing with me a strapless bra, a change of underwear, just in case like these underwear don't work, a chomps, makeup, jewelry. Okay, this is the little dressing room. It's so cute. I have two outfit options. Let's try them on. So these jeans and the sweater are from Amazon. I think I'm gonna wear this on the live because I feel like comfortable and I like the off the shoulder cut actually. I feel like it's like flattering because it will be like mostly here up. I feel like it's good because I really like this outfit. You guys have seen me show this one before. It's a little like squirt, but it is a little short and I feel like I just want to be super comfortable. So maybe I'll talk about this. I think I have to go back out there. 